everybody and welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. Hope you're all well. Today's tutorial we're just going to cover how we do the UK half treble crochet. So you may see this abbreviated in patterns as HTC. In the US this is referred to as the half double crochet. Similar to all the stitches it's just a different terminology, the actual stitch is the same. You just want to make sure if you are following a pattern that you know which terminology the pattern is written in. So on this channel I use UK terminology just so you're aware. It's a really nice stitch, it's an in-between size between the UK double and the UK treble so it's kind of the mid-size stitch. It is one of the real basics that you want to be able to do because it comes up in a lot of patterns. You're going to want to make yourself a foundation chain before we start this tutorial. So I chained 11 and that will give me a total stitch count of 10 for my row. So if you wanted to go ahead and make your foundation chain, if you are a little bit unsure how to create your foundation chain, I'll leave a link to the video in the description of this tutorial for you. So we do cover that a couple of tutorials ago, covering it from basic for absolute beginners. So grab your hooks and yarn and let's get practicing. So once you've got your foundation chain, what we want to do is we want to crochet into the third chain from the hook. So again, we count back these Vs. So this is my third chain here. And you're just going to pick up your yarn and your hook and we're going to begin to make the half treble crochet we want to yarn over first so you're going to push the yarn away from you rotate the hook towards you and downwards and insert it into the middle of that third chain from hook catch onto that yarn and pull up a loop so you'll have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over again by pushing the yarn away, rotating your hook towards you and down and you're going to pull through all three loops of yarn on the hook. So let's do that again. We're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain, yarn at the front of my hook, catch onto that yarn and pull up a loop and this will give you three loops on your hook. We're just going to yarn over, pushing the yarn away, rotating my hook towards me and down and pull through all three loops. Now the two chains that we skipped at the beginning here, they will count as our first half treble on this row. So let's work our way across. So into my next chain, pushing the yarn away to yarn over, Rotate my hook towards me and pointing downwards and inserting it into that stitch. Yarn at the front of my hook, catch on to that yarn and pull up a loop. So I've got three loops of yarn on my hook. Yarn over, pushing the yarn away, rotating the hook towards me and downwards and pull through all three loops that are on the hook. And again, yarn over, insert my hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So let's just slow this process down for you for a couple of stitches. So I've got three chains left and this little bump here is my slip knot so we don't put anything into that one. So let's work our last three stitches of row one together. So I'm going to push the yarn away from me, rotate my hook towards me and downwards, inserting it into that chain, yarn at the front of my hook, grab onto that yarn and pull up a loop. So you'll have three loops of yarn on your hook at this point yarn over and pull through all three. 
So yarning over into my next stitch, pulling up a loop, three loops of yarn on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And this is my last stitch of row one, so I'm just going to yarn over, insert my hook into that stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. To move up to row two when I'm doing half treble crochets, again there are a couple of different ways you can do this, I just want to keep it really simple for you. So when we did this first row here, this chain two is going to act as our first stitch, so when we count them we should have ten. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this chain two here. Is 10. If I moved up to row 2 by chaining 2 and counting that as a stitch and working into my second stitch along, there tends to be quite a big gap. So what I like to do is I just chain 1, so I push the yarn away from me, yarn over and pull through, and then I turn my work. And then at the base of this chain 1 here, and into this first stitch is where I will put my first half treble crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go into this very first stitch that the chain one is coming out of and insert your hook from front to back underneath it. So you're going underneath both of the strands of yarn that make up that B. Yarn at the front of your hook, catch onto that yarn and pull up a loop and you'll have three loops of yarn on your hook. Yarn over and finish that off as usual. Yarning over and pulling through all three loops. And then you just continue that all the way across, inserting your hook from the front of the stitch to the back, going underneath both strands of yarn which make up that V. Yarn at the front of your hook, catching onto that yarn and pulling up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So we'll do that all the way across until we get to our chain two. Now if you need to pause this, um, video feel free to just until you get the technique and if you do have any questions then please leave me a comment in the comment box below and I'll answer you as best as I can. I just want to get across to this end so I can show you how we finish off the row for row two because remember we did the chain two at the beginning which counted as a stitch so we need to make sure we put popping a stitch into there and then the rest of the rows will do this chain one. So yarn over, pushing the yarn away from you, rotating the hook towards yourself and down into the stitch from front to back underneath both strands of yarn that makes up the V. Catch onto that yarn and pull up a loop three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Yarn over into my next stitch from front to back, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So I've just got my last stitch here to place into the top of my chain two. If you turn your work over and look at it from the side a little bit, you can see that these two chains are here, you can make out the two Vs. So here's the first chain that I skipped, here's the second chain that I skipped. So this second chain is where I'm going to be placing my last half treble for the row. So it can be a little bit tight to work into this stitch, so you can just see that little small hole there, that's where I'm going to be placing my hook, so I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook there, and you can see I'm still picking up the two strands of yarn that makes the V, they're just on the side rather than being on the top. I'm going to grab onto that yarn and pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And then to move on to row three, what I would do is I would just chain one, the same as we did when we were starting row two, turn my work, 
and begin crocheting into this first stitch here that my chain one my turning chain is coming out of and this turning chain that we've created won't count as a stitch so you won't be working into this when you come to the end of row two and then you can just continue to crochet along and repeat that at the end of every row so this is a great little stitch, it's kind of an in-between size between the UK double crochet and the UK treble crochet. It's a really nice um, if you wanted to do pot holders. I've got some videos on scarves, mitts and hats which I'll link in the description for you. So if you've mastered these three stitches now that we've covered over the last couple of days then I'm sure you'll be fine to attempt one of those. But if not, just remember, just keep practicing it. It will all click all of a sudden. So if you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It means that you won't miss out on the next free pattern and it just supports what we're doing here on Rafco Baby Crochet. So that's all for this video. So have fun and happy hooking and I'll see you real soon. Bye.